Okay, so uh, this video is more or less a reply to something that uh, Slipgator mentioned. Um, and I told him that there was a cheaper way to do a quarry. It's not exactly cheaper, about the same cost, it's just a little different. Um, and it's by using computer craft. So you take these seven stone, redstone, glass, get a computer, then roughly the same kind of recipe, iron, computer, and a chest will get you a turtle. And turtle and a diamond pick will get you a mining turtle. Now, the neat thing about this is um, these are more or less computers. The turtles are pretty much mobile computers. Um, you can place them down. This is what they look like. Um, this is the interface for it. Now, what I was talking about for a different way to do a quarry um, is that these turtles come with certain programs. Okay. Now, this program right here, Excavate, will dig out an area um, that you define. So if you say excavate 9, it'll dig out a 9x9 nine nine all the way down to bedrock, or as depending on how much fuel it has. Um, it'll most likely need to be refueled a couple of times before you uh, um, complete that task. So um, let, me, uh, let me get a chest here for it to dump stuff into. Okay, so I'll place the chest here behind it. Right click on it. Okay, take the fuel, put it in the first slot. So as soon as you execute this, it's going to start working. So you can see what it's doing here. It's clearing the area. Now it works about as fast as the normal speed for the quarry. Um, you can speed up quarries a little bit by giving them more power. Um, not so with a turtle. Um, here's another thing to keep in mind. The uh, quarry has a chunk loader in it which means that the chunk that the quarry is placed in will always stay loaded even if you're not nearby. The turtles, however, do not have one. So while it's working, you're going to want to stay nearby. Um, the other thing with turtles is if for some reason you restart the game or the server restarts um, it's going to stop so you're gonna have to replace it tell it to run the program again why don't I uh, oops Just going to remove the fuel so you can see what happens when it runs out. You see it, it used a couple of pieces of coal already. Now with the turtles, um, it uses, okay here it comes back, just ran out of fuel. 
it's unloading items so now they're in the chest here okay and this is all stuff that comes pre-programmed in it the turtle uses LUA so you can either go to the computer craft site and look for mining programs or if you know programming yourself you can create your own script for it um, I've actually seen um, a video online um, where somebody took like a gang of these turtles and had them all working together to mine a quarry a rather large one um, so they would all mine offload reload fuel and continue mining all in synchronization and it was really something to see um, so let me put uh, another piece of fuel in there it grabs it and continues mining and it will continue to do this process until it hits its first piece of bedrock so it's a slightly different way it's a good way as well if you want to dig out a certain area there's a tunnel program that comes with it too um, that basically digs out uh, three wide by two high for whatever length you specify um, so if you like building tunnels that's uh, possibly a faster way for you to build one um, and then again like I said you can use these things not just to dig um, but with the scripts you can use them to build things um, I've seen people that have scripts that uh, build houses for them uh, bridges whatever you want so there's really no limit to what you can do with this besides either your ability to script or um, your ability to find the scripts that you want there's quite a few of them out there and here it comes again and it's going to offload and like I said that's because it ran out of fuel so let me just go ahead and stock it up and uh, it'll continue So I think from this point um, I'm just going to let it dig and uh, let you see how it works. Oh and uh, if you haven't noticed this is a pretty flat world. This is a world I created in Mistcraft uh, just specifically for this this demo. Oh, and uh, these turtles ignore lava and water, so they will dig right through them and not even be bothered by them. They will also dig obsidian, which the quarry does not do. Actually, no, I may be wrong about that. I think the quarry does dig this video. It just sometimes gets a little glitchy when it gets around lava and obsidian and all that stuff. So I'll be back once it's dug a little while and uh, let you see what happens. Okay, looks like it's done. Uh, it's about uh, three hours later and uh, it's gone and dug uh, uh, just over 85 levels all the way down um, to bedrock. And because this is a miscraft world, the uh, bedrock is laid out a little bit differently. Um, but here it goes and tells you how many items it's uh, mined in total um, and of course dumps everything in the chest and uh, I got this set up uh, just to kind of sort things out so the chest didn't overload um, so let's, uh, let's go down and take a look 
So, as you can see, it goes all the way down. You got a little bit of obsidian there, and your bedrock. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you do uh, start a program and want to terminate it, um, just uh, right click on the turtle and uh, control T um, will terminate. Um, and so that will stop any program that's running. Um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can do with turtles. Um, this is just the very basics. Um, if you have any uh, comments, questions, feel free to leave them. Okay, bye.